Thank you so much for allowing me to your space for this awesome opportunity to fellowship with God, with you. I hope you are excited and ready because you know you can only go into God's presence rejoicing. Now that you're ready, let us pray. In Jesus' name, dear Heavenly Father, we thank you so much that you've brought us this far, even into year 2022. Thank you for yet another time with you. We pray, O oh Lord, that you continually bless us, bless our families, and right here in this service, let your Holy Spirit be present to guide and to teach us. Take all the glory, Jesus, and let the words that we hear never leave us. This and many more we pray in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. you enjoyed the praise now it's time for nuggets yes it's a whole new month welcome to the month of December and a whole new topic for our nuggets the topic says be the best you can yes be the best you can now let's go Number one, every child has something he or she can do. Yes. Now, number two, know your gifts and use it to help others and yourself. 
Now, number three, all gifts are not the same, but no gift is superior. Number four, do not envy another's gift. Even if you are not encouraged, do the best you can with your gift. Ecclesiastes chapter 9 verse 10 says, Whatever your hand finds to do, do it with your might. And number five, pray to God to help you do the best with your gifts. In all the ways you can, in all the places you can, at all times you can, to all the people you can, as long as ever you can. Now enjoy the rest of the service. Hello Royal. It's time for the word. We have a very interesting topic today. Well, in case you don't know, it's our Thanksgiving service today. And our topic is titled, Faithful God. I have a question to ask. Can you say that God has been faithful to you this year? The story I'm about to tell you is quite interesting. And it's up to you to decide if God has been faithful to you. It's a story about a young lady and her family. Her name is Nicole. Nicole reached out to put her alarm on snooze when it woke her up around 5 a.m. She turned lazily on her bed to doze up, but immediately she heard her mom call out, I know you're up, Nicole. Come on down. Come and give me a hand. It's Thanksgiving today. Nicole sat up on her bed. She just couldn't understand how her mom could be excited about Thanksgiving this year. Come on, with all that had happened, Her dad had just been buried two months ago with a lot of struggles with her paternal relations. Her younger brother, Maxwell, had been sent out of school on Friday because his school fees had not been paid. And in her mom's office, they're talking about downsizing. That's they're going to sack some of them, including her mom. And mom is downstairs singing and rejoicing and preparing for Thanksgiving. By the way, what is she preparing? As at the last night, there was nothing in the fridge. So what are they going to prepare for Thanksgiving? Anyway, she went down. Good morning, mom. How can you be so cheerful with all that's going on and where did you get all that food stuff from Nicole asked her mom good morning sunshine this is the day that the Lord has made I will rejoice and be glad in it mrs. Jacks responded she held Nicole on the shoulders and looked her in the eyes and she said I'm alive. I have two lovely, responsible children. And I still have a job and a roof over my head. So I am going to be thankful to God for this. As for the issues concerning my job at the office and if we get to keep this house, I will not worry about those because I know that God is going to sort them out. Are you like Nicole, wondering if you should give God praise or thanks this year? 
Yeah, everything may not have worked out the way you expected it to this year. But like Nicole's mom said, that you are alive is more than enough reason to thank God. And especially because when you thank God, God fights your battles for you. Let's look at one story in the Bible where a king decided to ask all his people to thank God when he heard that three nations, yeah, one, two, three nations were on their way to attack and destroy his nation. Our Bible reading is taken from 2 Chronicles chapter 20, verse 21 to 28. And it says, After consulting the people, the king appointed singers to walk ahead of the army, singing to the Lord and praising him for his holy splendor. This is what they sang. Give thanks to the Lord, his faithful love endures forever. At the very moment they began to sing and give praise, the Lord caused the armies of Ammon, Moab, and Mount Seir to start fighting among themselves. The armies of Moab and Ammon turned against their allies from Mount Seir and killed every one of them. After they had destroyed the army of Seir, they began attacking each other. So when the army of Judah arrived at the lookout point in the wilderness, all they saw were dead bodies lying on the ground as far as they could see. Not a single one of the enemy had escaped. King Jehoshaphat and his men went out to gather the plunder. They found vast amounts of equipment, clothing, and other valuables, more than they could carry. There was so much plunder that it took them three days just to collect it all. On the fourth day, they gathered in the Valley of Blessing, which got its name that day because the people praised and thanked the Lord there. It is still called the Valley of Blessing today. Then all the men returned to Jerusalem, with Jehoshaphat leading them, overjoyed that the Lord had given them victory over their enemies. They marched into Jerusalem to the music of harps, lyres, and trumpets, and they proceeded to the temple of the Lord. Wow! Did you see how King Jehoshaphat gave thanks to God even before he was delivered from the attack of his enemies? God fought the battle while Jehoshaphat and the people gave him praises in thanksgiving. Why should we give thanks? We give thanks because God deserves it for all the good things he does for us, some of which we can never know. We give thanks to show gratitude for what he has done for us. You can check it out in Psalm 103 verse 1 to 6. Another reason to give thanks to God is that it keeps our hearts from pride and arrogance. It helps us focus on God, the giver of all good gifts. You can also read that up in James chapter 1 verse 17. Yet another reason to give God thanks? Yes, it reminds us of the things that we have. Just like Nicole's mom remembered that she was still alive and she had lovely children. Yes, giving thanks reminds us of the things we have and helps us to remove our thoughts, not to think so much about the things we don't have. 
And one last reason why we can give thanks, we should give thanks to God. It helps us show a heart of faith in God. And our faith in God moves God to do so much more for us. So to our truths for today. Thanksgiving honors God. That's our first truth. Our second truth, we must thank God for all he has done for us. Thirdly, we thank God even in situations that are not very comfortable. And finally, we should also thank God for his promises to us. Now for our lessons for today. We have two lessons for today. When I thank God for what he has done in my life, he does even more. And thanking God in an unfavorable situation brings deliverance from that situation. Our memory verse for today is from Psalm 106 verse 1 and it says, Praise the Lord! Oh, give thanks to the Lord for He is good, for His mercy endures forever. For our home play for this week, I have one thing I want you to do and that is make a list three things that you are thankful to God for. I hope you enjoyed the service. You can follow us on our YouTube channel and also join the Telegram channel. Don't forget you can also download the Royal Scroll from the link showing on your screen. And remember to be part of the next excellent clan chat room by sending in your questions on any of the topics we have studied. Now let me inform you, for the rest of the Sundays of this year, we're going to be discussing questions, all of the questions that you have sent in concerning all the topics we have taught and any other topic that bothers you. Have you sent your questions? If you haven't, please send them. We have three Sundays, three Sundays to discuss all of these questions. I look forward to those sessions. Now remember, you are royalty. Go and conquer your world in Jesus' name. Amen. Follow me, follow me, follow me everywhere